hey guys this is crypto of the future and welcome back to another video uh, in this one we will be talking about fractin protocol uh, which is a project that brings top nfts to a broader audience uh, but do know that anything i say will not be an investment or a financial advice so do keep that in mind now let's get into this video uh, first of all uh, we will learn what fractin protocol is uh, it may be slightly difficult to understand uh, at first but I will keep this thing very basic so we can all understand. Uh, if you just focus on the word, uh, it kind of spells out as fraction and fraction means part of something big. If you make fraction of something, uh, that means you are dividing that thing into small parts. And that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, we have uh, one major problem in NFT market. All the top NFTs are way out of the reach of normal or average investors. Most of us are average investors. Uh, we may buy NFTs worth of 100 or even hundreds of dollars, but we can't afford to buy NFTs worth of $1,000. Let's say if you want a board Ape a Yacht a Club NFT, uh, we can't do that because uh, they are way too expensive. Uh, their floor price is uh, 128th right now. Uh, which is probably the lowest at the lowest market condition even now it is outside our reach we can't get it in the most ideal situation uh, but this is where the fracton protocol comes in uh, so this is an nft liquidity infrastructure uh, which provides a permissionless liquidity and oracle for all kinds of nfts we have a phenomenon of uh, fractionalization here uh, which is exactly what it sounds like it means uh, turning something big into smaller pieces in order to make it more convenient and efficient. Uh, we, uh, when we fractionalize NFTs into, uh, let's say, smaller pieces, those pieces become uh, cost-efficient pieces. Now, when we do this, we turn non-fungible assets into fungible and divisible assets, which then lowers the barriers of entry and, as we know, the price is the biggest barrier of entry and when that is lowered more people get the opportunity to own it and hence it raises global inclusion opportunities and this does not just benefit investors or collectors but it also benefits the nft artist because in this when the entry barrier is lowered more people joins to provide liquidity so more liquidity is generated to their work without having to sell the entirely of the NFT. Uh, the more someone is interested in a particular NFT, so he or she will own as many fractals as they can. Uh, so we can see the phenomenon uh, that is being made possible by fractal protocol having uh, many benefits for everyone. Uh, in conclusion, uh, fractal protocol allows for an NFT to be fractionalized and uh, be turned into smaller and cost efficient pieces in which people can pool up their funds uh, buy these fractions and become owner of the nft together uh, which they cannot do individually now let's discuss and learn how this is done practically uh, for this we need to understand how the token uh, hierarchy works in fractal protocol and what each token's function is uh, as mentioned earlier, uh, we took the example of Board Ape Yard Club NFT, and that's what the documents have used to create a better understanding. So we'll continue to use this in this video. Uh, as we know, Board Ape Yard Club NFT is really expensive, so individually uh, we may not be able to own it. But by using fractionalization and jointly putting uh, together our funds we can own the BAYC. We use blind box minting to collect uh, funds uh, with others and when the funds are enough to buy BAYC, uh, the protocol acquires it and deposits it into the fraction treasury. And then the blind boxes are allowed to be converted to people's BAYC with which users can redeem BAYC from the vault. Uh, so we have three different types of ERC tokens that comprises the whole fractal protocol. Uh, we have the ERC721 token, which is the highest ranked token in this protocol and 
is a real asset in BAYC Metaswap. Uh, Metaswap is like the liquidity vault for top NFT collections and each collection has its own representative Metaswap vault. So this token is uh, the value foundation of the entire BAYC liquidity protocol since we are talking about Board Ape Yard Club here. Uh, then we have the ERC1155 token which are the blind boxes. So the blind boxes represents uh, one over 1000 parts of the NFT. So if you own a blind box that means that you have one over 1000 ownerships of the targeted BAYC. This is then converted to people's BAYC. Uh, this is middle tier asset uh, with connected BAYC and the liquidity token which is high BAYC in the system. So this token is considered or can be considered as ABS or BAYC which is short of asset backed security. And lastly we have a ERC20 token which is the lowest rank token in this protocol. Uh, this is a high BAYC token which is anchored uh, to the number of people's BAYC and blind boxes but since they are not real assets, so they cannot be directly exchanged for BAYC. So just like a bind box uh, represents 1 over 1000 parts of NFTs, high BAYC represents 1 over 1 million ownerships of 1 BAYC in the BAYC meta swap, which aims to release the NFT fractions liquidity even further. Now let's talk about the fraction token or FT token, uh, which is the native token for this protocol. Uh, this acts as the governance token of the system. It incentivizes uh, users participation and is also uh, the primary payment token of fraction ecosystem. In total there are 100 million fraction tokens and here is how they are distributed. So the protocol incentives have 14% a fund to incentive early adopters and active users. 17% for the funding, uh, a fund including a strategic round, private round, public safe, uh, then 54% for DAO treasury, uh, a fund to grow the ecosystem or community, for example like uh, the marketing budget, 5% uh, for the advisor, uh, a fund to reward who can add value to the project's long term success, and then 10% for the team. Uh, a fund to compensate the core team who developed the product and infrastructures. Now we do have uh, one other essential thing that we need to discuss and that is non-fungible crew or NF crew. These are composed of 10,000 PFPs and whoever owns it is considered a Genesis member of uh, Fracton and is provided with higher authority to participate in Fracton and becomes Fraction's decentralized verifier. Now let's get to the announcement part here. Uh, we all know about uh, the QCon, right? Uh, it is a very popular cryptocurrency exchange. QCoin uh, has uh, partnered with Fracton Protocol in July 15th. Uh, it says on uh, the press release on QCoin itself that QCoin will cooperate with uh, Fracton Protocol to improve the liquidity of NFT assets and uh, lower the investment threshold for retail users to participate uh, in NFT investments. Uh, this is really massive achievement for this project and this do gives us uh, the hints of legitimacy and how far this product will go. Uh, and there's another article on QCoin where uh, they announced that uh, QCoin launched NFT ETF trading zone, uh, a new way to invest in blue chip NFTs. Uh, it will be uh, covering top NFTs like Board App Yacht Club, uh, punks, sandbox, uh, other deed and ENS as underlining assets. You can see tweets on the official QCoin uh, Twitter about them partnering with uh, Fracton Protocol and about launching the NFT ETF trading zone. Uh, you can learn about it uh, all from the news articles. I'll share it with you guys in the description. So make sure to check it out from there. And uh, here's all for the lunch plans. So the NFT ETF trading zone will go live on 29th of July. So it's in about a week from now. Uh, here are the listing times for high BAYC subscription period is between 27th of July to 29th of July. 
and the listing will be on 29th July. And there's one for high punks of the crypto punks. Subscription period will be from uh, 2 August to 4 August and the listing is on 4th August and uh, the other deeds uh, will be announced soon. Uh, there is an event on the Discord channel of Fracking Protocol. Uh, there's the first round of blind boxing minting of Board App Yard Club. So make sure that you do not miss it. Uh, so to take part in that event, open their uh, Discord channel. It will be in the description. Uh, from there, go to the event channel. From there, you'll see all the details. And all you have to do is type exclamation mark, fraction and then put your Ethereum address and after that send it in any channel or you can use the tickets channel to create private channel and post it there if you do not want others to know your address. After that you will get the high fraction role and you'll get the access to mint to win event channels and you'll proceed from there. Now finally uh, let's uh, see what their future planning is and then we'll conclude this project. Uh, so to have the most uh, top collections fractionalized trading pairs start with BAYC collection fractionalization, uh, launch CryptoPunks, other deeds, sandbox fractionalization, launch popular collections fractionalization, uh, to involve more partners and expand the ecosystem, launch uh, high BAYC trading pairs, uh, contracts on uh, cooperative exchanges, uh, deploy guardians uh, mode expand cooperative CEXs and trader partners support more layers like layer 1 or layer 2 uh, to function as a, a fully decentralized a permissionless fractional protocol uh, to deploy guardians mode to a monitor the minting process launch vote uh, escrowed uh, model in governance vault uh, launch a curator system and non-fungible crew and there we have it uh, that's all i have for you guys in this video make sure to follow them on all their social medias uh, every link will be in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one shortly